why is Bitcoin still trading below $100,000 when traders seem so confident about its potential? Charles Edwards, the founder of Capriol Investments, has identified several factors that may be suppressing the cryptocurrency's gains. But what are these factors? And how do they impact Bitcoin's price? And to begin with, there has been a significant inflow of funds into spot Bitcoin exchange traded funds, ETFs, in recent months. Since the United States Securities and Exchange Commission approving the first batch of spot Bitcoin ETFs around six months ago, billions of dollars have poured into these derivative products. Uh, for instance, uh, on June 6th, all nine uh, spot BTC ETF issuers in the United States added 6,907 BTC worth over $492 million. Uh, Fidelity and BlackRock were among the companies that bought large amounts of Bitcoin during this period. This trend has been encouraging for Bitcoin as institutions have been increasingly buying more BTC and gaining exposure through spot ETFs. However, the pace of expansion has been slower than many would like. Uh, Edwards notes that spot Bitcoin ETF uh, issuers in the United States have been aggressively accumulating uh, since their debut in January. In fact, they have bought 200% of all BTC mined since then. While this is an impressive stream of institutional investment, it has not been enough to push Bitcoin's price significantly higher. Uh, at the same time, there's been a, a wave of long-term holder selling uh, that has reduced the total supply of Bitcoin in circulation. Since the December 2023 peak of the 57 percent, the share of the total supply held by long-term holders has shrunk to 54 percent, reducing 630,000 Bitcoin in the process. Uh, with these factors in mind, it's clear that Bitcoin's price is being influenced by a complex interplay of forces. While there is certainly reason for optimism, there are also the challenges that must be overcome if Bitcoin is to reach new all-time highs. Uh, so can Bitcoin still exceed local resistance and rally to $100,000? According to Edwards, it's possible, but it will require a spike in institutional appetite for BTC and a slowdown in long-term holder liquidation. If these conditions are met and the M2 money supply in the United States increases, Bitcoin could surpass expectations and break out from its current range. Uh, with that said, thanks for watching and until next time. And here's a little joke for you. Why did the Bitcoin cross the road to get to the other blockchain?